I wanna share with you a video I almost deleted because I struggled to get photos I thought were good enough for a YouTube video. I woke up at 4 a.m. full of anticipation of the day ahead. I had a story in my mind of creating a video talking about how I enjoy using zoom lenses in the field. I left home at 4.40 a.m. with a 40 minute drive in the dark. I travel slowly with my eyes glued to the side of the road for kangaroos who have a habit of jumping out in front of your vehicle. My eyes are scanning the horizon and I can see colour developing in the sky, filling me with excitement. I arrive at the location and quickly set up my camera. The first thing I need to do is do an intro. I need to introduce the video, talk about what I'm trying to achieve and the types of shots I'm going to capture. Once the intro is done, I start to feel a bit of pressure because now I know I need to capture some images which fit the story. If I don't get these images, then it's very difficult to make a video. There's also added pressure that I've been to this location numerous times before and I have a large portfolio of work, so I've set myself an unrealistic expectation to improve on those shots. First, I immediately notice a few cockatoos in a dead tree. We've got a beautiful background, we've got color in the sky. It's all adding up to make a good photo. I position myself and I take a few shots, but ideally I want some sort of action. I want those cockatoos doing something just to add to the photo. So I spent quite a few minutes just watching and waiting and unfortunately the cockatoos just never did anything. So I ended up with this photo and it's okay, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted some sort of behavior. So I started, I was zero for one. I then noticed some egrets flying through the sky and I thought I might try and get a backlit shot. That would be quite cool. So I've tracked the egret and the egret's flying through the frame and I'm locked onto it, take a few photos and I check the back of the viewfinder and I just didn't quite have the shot that I was after. Look, this is okay, but again, it's just, I've got these very high expectations. So that shot wasn't exactly what I was after either. So now I'm zero and two. And as I'm trying to look for compositions and I feel the pressure building, the colors starting to fade in the sky and I'm really wanting that shot. I notice a, an egret in a pond nearby feeding and I think, what if I could get a reflection of that color on the water with the bird? So that's exactly what I did. I walked walk down the bank, tried to get myself nice and low, but the light was very low, making it very difficult to see the subject, to autofocus, to compose. And I took a number of shots, but again, I just simply wasn't happy. Now, if we look at the raw file, you can see just how dark it was. With some editing, it does improve the image and we can see the egret there. But again, this just feels a bit too busy for me and I just wasn't happy. So now I'm zero for three. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit anxious about whether I'll actually get any shots. I then spot a pair of kangaroos not far away and I think I've taken some really good backlit shots of kangaroos in the past. I'd love to capture a shot like that or improve on it. So I've walked my way towards the kangaroos but the sun hadn't quite come up yet. So the light was very low. I just took one shot but as you can see, the IQ is completely lacking because we just didn't have the light. So I was hoping that as the sun was gonna come up, these kangaroos would stay put, but unfortunately, they bounced off and uh, I was now zero for four. <laughs> and if I'm being completely honest, at this stage, I'm starting to get a bit of negative self-talk. I'm starting to doubt myself and I'm starting to think, oh, you're just not good enough. You're not gonna get the shots, so you're not gonna be able to create a video, that which then adds pressure and, I was just doubting myself, but I thought, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying. <laughs> I won't give up just yet. And I knew the sun was about to come up. And again, I walked around trying to find a composition, but it just wasn't happening for me. I just, for whatever reason, sometimes it happens, I'm sure you can relate. I just couldn't find a composition. The sun's come up and it was absolutely beautiful. And we got a landscape shot, but there was no bird in it. There was no bird flying past. So once the sun had come up, I kept looking around but I was now zero for five and it dawned on me that I just probably didn't have enough content to create a video. Now that's probably my perspective. Many of you are probably saying, oh, I like these shots and in hindsight, I probably am a little bit hard on myself, but I've just got that expectation. I, for some reason, I feel that if I don't get nice shots, you don't want to watch the video. And I know that's not true, but that's what my brain's doing. It's just, I feel the need to capture really good shots because I want you to enjoy the video. At that point, I let my negative voice take over. It got a bit loud and I thought, I'm just going to pull the pin because I, I just don't have enough content to add to the story to do what I want. So I decided to then just 
just stop and I thought I'll just enjoy myself I'll just take photos for me and not worry so much about YouTube and it was at this point that my good mate Brian actually turned up and it was great to see him and look we just spent the next half an hour to an hour just photographing some swamp hens and some dotterels and just enjoying ourselves and it's ironic that I actually ended up getting some very nice shots when I was doing that so Brian and I just laid down and we had these poo geckos or swamp hens walking around and I thought I'll just try and get a really unique um, perspective. So I've gone all the way to 100 and I've got as low as possible. The Pukeko is just standing there and I've taken this shot with the background and I really like this. I love the perspective. It's just different and that's often what I'm going for and I just like how different it looks and uh, let me know in the comments if you like this. I did cut off the head in the reflection which is a bit of a bummer so I then tried to take another shot with a similar perspective with the full reflection as you can see here and again I like this we've got another bird in the background it's a little bit busier but overall I like this image as well so <laughs> I actually took two really nice images with a zoom lens showing how if you go really wide you can get these different perspectives and it didn't end there we were very fortunate to have some red knee dotterels um, just wandering around in the mud We've laid down, got relatively close, and we got this shot. And it was a little bit close to me, but I've managed to get this full frame photo with superb detail. Just very, very happy. So at the end of the morning, I was, I was happy because I got these shots, but I was disappointed in myself that I'd given up and stopped filming because I probably could have created a video if I just stuck at it. And uh, I guess that's a lesson for me not to give up so easily. And this isn't the first time this has happened. I, the reason I'm making this video is I was driving home thinking, oh, that was a waste of a morning. You know, I don't have content for a video and you love to see my videos. And this isn't the first time I've just deleted a video. I've been out numerous times where I just haven't got the content. And it's very difficult to do these in the field videos because trying to create a story and if you don't have a photo, you don't really have a video. And that's why I often go back to these same locations, these wetlands and different areas, because I know there's going to be birds there and I know I can get some shots. So I thought instead of wasting the video, I might just create this video and share with you the reality, I suppose, the reality of YouTube that sometimes it just doesn't work and sometimes you do just have to delete video. Often in my videos you might think I have some sort of magic because I often say oh I'm hoping to see a superb parrot like in my last video and then bingo there's a superb parrot and I take a photo or it's as almost as if I've you know talked to the birds and they think oh Dwight he's a good bloke we'll go and pose for a photo it's like I operate in easy mode and that's just not true and I don't want beginners and I don't want you to think that it's easy for me that I just go out and just take photos good photos every time it's just not the case I struggle just like you and look I'd love to know in the comments how that resonates with you. Do you struggle? Do you sometimes question your ability? You know, how often do you go out and you just don't get anything? Just thought I'd share with you the reality, I suppose, of what YouTubers go through when they're trying to create content. As I film this video, I'm awaiting the Canon 200 to 800, so that will be my next video. I can't wait. But until then, thanks for watching this video. Uh, give me that thumbs up and obviously subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And thanks to all my new members. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, take care. Happy birding. We'll see you later.